So we went on a mission to create not just a big phone, but a phone that helps you do big things. Introducing the all-new Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 products companies want you to forget. The last thought in my head is that a brand new device is going to burn down my car or my house. Why did I eat 12 of them? Why? Getting customer support directly to your phone, but they're able to also help you use the phone by controlling it. For this list, we'll be ranking the craziest, most memorable, and infamous product fails or embarrassing ideas. Can you think of any product misfires we've missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Apple Quick Take 200 Apple is a juggernaut of the tech industry, but it's important to remember that it hasn't always been roses for the company. I want to take a photo. Right? Give me an action pose. The Apple Quick Take line of digital cameras were absolutely pioneers of the medium, essentially first out of the gate for home consumers. But the final model, which changed from a Kodak to a Fujifilm build, possessed some severe flaws. There was no focus for the Apple Quick Take 200, for starters, and it could only hold eight pictures at a time. Hey, Deb, can you take a photo of me on the horse real quick? Sure. Resolution was also poor for this model, and it was only compatible with Macintosh computers. The real kicker of the Apple Quick Take 200, however, a price point of almost $800. Number 9. Mick Africa. McDonald's is another company that sometimes stumbled over the years when it comes to their marketing. Introducing the Mother Nature Burger. One of the most tone deaf examples of this was the Mick Africa, which was released in 2002 for Norwegian and Danish customers as an authentic African taste with one off putting name. It was supposed to coincide with that year's Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, and was essentially all of the traditional Mickey D's trappings wrapped in a pita. Unfortunately, 2002 was also a year where deadly famine was ravaging countries like Zimbabwe, Swaziland, and Mozambique, and the restaurant chain immediately faced heavy backlash. McDonald's didn't back down, and released the sandwich as planned, although franchisees did offer up donation boxes to to assist in aid to countries suffering from famine. Number 8. Zippo Perfumes and Colognes We're willing to bet that if you were to list the names of a hundred companies all vying to create the latest trendy perfume, the people who created Zippo lighters would be the last ones you'd think of. Well, think again, because Zippo brands colognes and perfumes are very much a thing. Zippo doesn't seem to heavily promote these aromatic offerings clearly, or they'd be more well-known than they are. But they are still here, so they must have some sort of fan base. There's Zippo Glorious, which reportedly possesses notes of leather, tobacco, chocolate, and grapefruit, among others. They taste like burning! Then there's Helios, which combines watermelon, cedar, fig, and musk all in a delightful package that looks like a traditional Zippo lighter. Wait, you're not convinced? Hey, where are you going? Number 7. Reebok Bacon Okay, so we know that CrossFit is popular, but this is ridiculous. Hey, Dad, we're off to Tracy's. See you in a little bit. Hey, bring me back. Anything, anything wrapped in bacon. Got it. Reebok Bacon was an attempt by the athletic company to strike while the iron was hot for two different sides of the cultural zeitgeist. For starters, there was the commercial profile of bacon culture that was emerging in 2014. But then again, this is Reebok we're talking about, so the company leans into the low-carb paleo dieting craze as well. They wrap it in bacon and then they cook it in butter. Oh. I'd eat my own foot if it was wrapped in bacon and cooked in butter. Ultimately, it's just a crazy publicity stunt, complete with packaging that proclaims Reebok believed in bacon. However, Reebok bacon did debut in the 2014 Reebok's CrossFit Games and was pushed hard to athletes and audience members in attendance. We're not quite sure how good it actually tasted, however. Number 6. Gerber Singles Living on your own for the first time can be tough, and the Gerber Baby Food Company had an idea to make that new adventure a little easier with a brand new product line, Gerber Singles. Uh, dinner is served. 
Essentially, this was baby food for adults. Real dinners like beef burgundy and Mediterranean vegetables all pureed and mashed up for quick, easy consumption. Blech. Oh, jeez. There were even, uh, yummy dessert options like Blueberry Delight. The idea, predictably enough, was a disaster, as neither college students nor the single set were biting at this new, horrible idea from Gerber, and the singles line died a merciful death. Number 5. Tim Horton's Buffalo Latte the next entry on our list is a bit different, in that Tim Hortons seemed to have known right from the start what they were doing when they announced the Buffalo Latte in 2017. It was a stunt, a means to get the coffee chain trending in news outlets, for this drink was only available in Buffalo, New York. In that respect, they succeeded. Although, we're willing to bet that Tim Hortons doesn't exactly want to be known solely as the Buffalo Latte people. Ha! Ha! Spicy! Why is that spicy? Regardless, this spicy coffee concoction was indeed sold at their Buffalo location, although sales figures were predictably low. Still, the Buffalo News actually didn't give the beverage that bad a review, claiming it was surprisingly drinkable. Number 4. Gucci Balaclava Call this one a perfect storm of bad taste. Public outcry was immediate and harsh when Gucci debuted this black pullover balaclava with bright red lips on its website in February 2019. That's gotta be racist, there's no way. The reason behind the controversy? Well, the knit sweater top looks alarmingly like blackface for starters, and the company decided to time the release during Black History Month. This latter aspect was just an unfortunate coincidence, of course, but people jumped on it right from the get-go, and Gucci pulled the piece from its website. The balaclava was still being sold by third-party vendors, however, while Gucci themselves offered up an apology for the entire debacle. Number 3. Amazon Fire Phone there's been a running theme thus far on this list, with big companies making huge errors in judgment, but we honestly thought the Amazon Fire Phone had potential to make an impact. This is really neat. When I turn it, it moves. There were a number of huge blunders that stopped this from happening, however, not the least of which was making Amazon's initial foray into cellular service exclusive to AT&T. <laughs> Being able to just auto-scroll through something without having to use both hands is so amazing. Elsewhere, critics weren't enthused with the phone's basic specs or Android interface, although some praised the Amazon Fire Phone's dynamic interface visuals that mimics 3D. The mouse is really cool. You could look around the city from different angles. Customers weren't buying, however, and the Amazon Fire Phone barely lasted a year before it was priced down and discontinued out of existence. The tribe has spoken. Number 2. Insensitive Kids Clothing we have no doubt that the designers over at Zara didn't specifically intend for this outfit for children to look like the uniforms worn by prisoners in the Holocaust. Hindsight is 2020, however, and consumers caught on almost immediately to this tragically eerie similarity. The toddler clothes were, according to Zara, inspired by classic westerns, with a gold star title that says Sheriff in the upper right-hand corner. Unfortunately, the design was just uncomfortably close to the horizontal stripes and Star of David that was present for Jewish prisoners during World War II. Zara quickly apologized and removed the outfit from sale. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy Note 7 With the first ever Note with a stunning 5.7-inch dual-curved screen, so it feels as good as it looks in the palm of your hand. It was the cell phone gaffe heard round the world. Batteries in the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 were overheating and burned out, causing explosive fires for many of the company's loyal consumers. This did shoot pieces of whatever, it was inside the phone, out. The Galaxy Note 7 had arrived highly anticipated in 2016 and was selling briskly until photos and videos of the fiery aftermaths hit social media. Replacement phones with new batteries did no good, 
as these also caught fire for consumers, to the point where Samsung was actively sending out updates to brick their own phones, essentially making them unusable. Samsung Galaxy Note 7 phones? are not to be charged or powered on during this flight. The company reportedly lost close to $17 billion as a result of the Galaxy Note 7 snafu, making this a cell phone debacle Samsung would definitely like to forget. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.